The foods plant in Bad Follingbostel is the largest of its kind run by Kraft Foods in Europe. Here, in an area the size of 50 football pitches, more than 300 different raw commodities are converted into 492 food items every day, including such well-known brands as Philadelphia, Miracle Whip and Kraft Ketchup. But it's not just the production which is impressive, it's also the logistics, with over 70 trucks a day leaving Bad Follingbostel to supply customers all over Europe. Thanks to this, shoppers can always find exactly what they're looking for on the shelves. Since 2002, Kraft Foods, together with the Metro Group, has been looking into a method of achieving this more effectively in the Metro Future Store. With the help of so-called radio frequency identification, RFID, small chips fitted with an antenna should provide better information on the respective stock locations of the goods. The advantage? This transponder, or tag, can store far more information than the traditional barcode. Since November 2004, Kraft Foods has become the first Metro supplier chosen to test the RFID tags in practice. We now have installed a standalone solution which enables us to run pilot activities internal and external together with customers. At the end we see a fully integrated uh, supply chain and the fully integration of RFID which brings us benefits in uh, reducing the manual efforts, control efforts and which enables us to reduce the manual input of messages into the systems. As a manufacturer of drinks, confectionery and food, Kraft Foods is especially well suited for testing the RFID technology in logistical operation, because the readability of the RFID tag can sometimes be considerably impaired by the use of different materials. The food products we produce contain a lot of liquids and or packed in metal or metallized foils. This issue we have to solve together with our technology partners regarding positioning of the tags, regarding optimized uh, tags, optimized antennas and readers, and optimized packaging. Uh, this in inst infrastructure we now have installed here enables us to drive this development. Kraft Foods, Intermec and SAP have been testing the readability of RFID labels on an even smaller packaging unit of boxes and cartons since February 2005. For this, the barcodes of pallets and cartons must first be read in and replaced by RFID labels. SAP's job is to make the information on the RFID tags usable for further processing in the data system. The RFID pilot project implementation here at Kraft Foods in Fallingbostel comprises an outbound logistics business scenario. Basically this means that we are encoding um, virgin text with a unique identifier which is an electronic product code or short an EPC. Um, in addition the text and labels get applied to a physical item which is a, either a box, carton or a pallet and also the SAP solution provides the association of the EPC information to back-end business transactions coming from an ERP system at Kraft Foods. Before this stage is reached, a few more issues have to be solved, however, such as an improved reading rate in operation and lower costs for the RFID tags. Once this has been achieved, the RFID technology will certainly improve the recording and documentation of the movement of goods at the manufacturer, Kraft Foods, and between Kraft Foods and the Metro Group. The biggest potential business benefit out of RFID initiatives will be in the increased visibility across a heterogeneous and increasingly distributed supply network. This means that all business partners will have access to a specific item anywhere across the supply chain at any point in time. This will in future have a knock-on effect on the logistics and production and in the longer term also on the software that controls these processes. The immediate future of the project is already mapped out. By the end of 2005, the first smart chips of the EPC class generation 2 will be in use. They meet US and European standards and can be read worldwide. This should further support development of RFID technology and make it more attractive.